Pokemon trainer. This is Matt from Alish Review. And this is Bobby. Bobby, also from Alish Review, if you didn't know. Good friend of mine. <laughs> uh, we got our friend Charmander here. Guys, we are here to review. But he doesn't. Review. He doesn't stay in the Pokeball. He follows behind. We're here to re recall our favorite memories of Pokemon from the past, like top five memories. So I'm just gonna get started. Let's jump into it, right? Let it go. Number five for me is gonna be when I first played X and Y. I thought it was an amazing experience. You know, we first got to see it in 3D. The world of Pokemon. It was so rich and full of detail. I loved it. Truly awesome memory. Well, are these? Are we ranking these? Like, is this like? I'm going order? in order. Yeah. I mean, you can. I don't really have. I guess I could put mine in, in some kind of order. One, now that you mention X and Y, one really iconic moment for me, and you know, don't think that I'm racist when I say this, but the ability to, to create multiple different races when you that are customizing big, your character. That was a big deal. Like, I thought that was revolutionary. No, I'm white, so it's not a, as big of a deal. It's but never been a thing in these games, and I was like, finally, for the first time ever, this is... And yeah, you still look to like... You know, yeah, Middle sure, Eastern or something. I'm but sure still. a lot of people appreciate that, not just you, because Pokemon is a worldwide phenomenon, so that is definitely a valid point. Yeah. You know? So for my number four, I think it's going to be when I first got to play Black and White. To me, that adventure really stood out. It was like a complete retelling of Pokemon. Mm -hmm. like you had no previous Pokemon. It was only Pokemon from Black and White. You, know? yeah. you started fresh. Yes. So it reminded me of the good old days of Pokemon. It always yeah. is a really great feeling starting from the beginning. Like there's been plenty of times where I just started a new file for no reason. And just because that feeling of starting with nothing just does yeah. something to you. It's just, it's a fresh start, you know. Yeah. The music in the game is amazing too. So. Speaking of music, uh, I guess my number four would be the music in... Ruby and Sapphire. I don't know why I drew a blank just now. But yes, the music in that game to me is just revolutionary, especially in the remake, Omega Ruby and Alpha yeah, Sapphire. Great, great music. They yeah. stepped it completely up. It was already incredible music, and then they made it even better. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so that alone, I guess, would be my number four. Yeah. And as you might see, I'm going to mention Ruby and Sapphire probably a lot here coming up. Speaking of, my number three is a real fond memory of mine. When I first got to play Ruby and Sapphire as a kid, I actually got out of Pokemon for a while. But then my friend told me about Ruby and Sapphire, and I was like, I'll check it out. So I randomly bought the game, and I had no knowledge of any Pokemon in the game, <laughs> which was a rare thing for me, you know. Nowadays, we study every single Pokemon. Yes. But back then, I just picked the game up and started playing it and finding all these hundreds of new Pokemon and even old Pokemon. Is there anybody in here? It really brought back an incredible nostalgia, you know, wow. just all these new Pokemon. So Ruby and Sapphire really holds a special spot in my heart. Um, number three. <laughs> yes. Well, to keep the Ruby Sapphire train going, uh... That series was really special to me because it was a game that I was, the last game that I remember playing when my grandmother was living, and it just, every time I, if you don't get off me, every time I play it, it just brings back really special memories of her, and of just how blown away I was by the game, and I, I even had the guy that came now, to the game. Now wait a minute, that's not your number one? How are you going to beat that? <laughs> I'm confused. I told you I wasn't necessarily going oh, in order. I was just probably. keeping it rolling and since we were already on the Ruby Sapphire train. Man, darn. But uh, my, my my next few, they're they're interesting. But I'll let you take all it right, back. <laughs> all right. Number two for me is going to be when I first got to play Gold and Silver. I got to play this game in Japanese as a child, which to me blew my mind looking back. Because nowadays you can order stuff from Japan, but. When I got to play this, like from a friend who had the copy, it blew my mind. I got to play as Toad the Dow for the first time, and it was all Japanese, so I didn't understand any of it. Man. But it was such an exciting feeling knowing that there are new Pokemon out there and a new world to explore because we had been playing the yellow version for 
yeah you know years so that is really one of my favorite moments in pokemon history but completely unrelated to this really fast the johto region is still my favorite one i have to say yeah i mean and that is only seconded by the Hoenn region because of what i said just a minute ago but my number two has to be <laughs> The time I was playing Diamond and Pearl and Riley was with me in this cave. He's a character that became a co-op character for just a few seconds, a few minutes while you were in this cave. And at first I thought he was a girl for some reason, but I guess they, they have a lot of character confusion guys, so, yeah, yes, well. in these series. But anyway, we're in this cave. He's with me, so when you're battling, he's battling too. And I don't even remember who he had. Was it like Lucario or something? Lucario was. And I'm battling, I have my starter, you know, uh, Empoleon, it wasn't Empoleon yet. Anyway, we come up on this onyx, shiny onyx, it's gold. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna catch this thing. So you know how when there's a double battle, you can't catch a, capture a Pokemon oh, no. until one is KO'd. So I'm working on the other one, trying to get him KO'd. Uh. Riley comes in with some like Force Palm or something, Bone Rush with Lucario, KO's the gold Kills onyx, it. I don't get to catch it. Talk about somebody else. Uh. Give me the hug. <laughs> yes, come. <laughs> okay, it's all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> My number one, guys, is got to be where it all started. Kanto region. It was Christmas Day, and me and my brother both got these shiny new yellow Game Boy colorings. The Pokemon edition. I still have one of those. It was so cool. Brick Game Boy pockets that oh, is yellow. God. I love it, though. But when we Probably had that, we ripped it open. The game was already in there, and it was ready to go. We played it every day from then on out. Like, I literally remember staying up all night playing Pokemon. Oh, my God. Like, I had a little backlight lighting Ah, uh, yes, the worm light. Yeah, the little I remember worm those. light. So, just playing Pokemon for the first time, and it was yellow version, because I never played red and blue. Okay. So, yellow version was my first exposure. You know, Pikachu following you. Kind of like this one over here. Yes. So but that's a that's another discussion for another time. But that is definitely one of my favorite features, the follow yeah. feature. Yellow. And when they brought it back in Soul and Silver, I was mm -hmm. like, yeah. Well, is that one of your memories? No, that's <laughs> not. I mean, that's one of my memories, but that's not my number one. My number one is, you know, uh, something that if you knew more about me, you would wonder too. But Matt has always given me crap for always wanting Nitto Queen in my team. But that comes, from a, that comes from a special place, too. Uh, in the same region, he wasn't playing red and blue, but me and my sister were actually co oply playing blue version, which is, yeah, that's a new word. <laughs> which uh, is kind of funny because this new Pokemon, you actually can play co-op. So if my sister is still into the series, that's something we're definitely going to be doing. But we were playing blue version together. We would just like trade off who was playing here and there. We didn't really have a formula for it. It was just like, you know, she would play some, I would play some. But Nitto Queen in that game was literally our GOAT. She was, know, she was the greatest too. of all like, time. Oh my god. No matter what the battle, no matter what type of Pokemon, we put Nitto Queen out, that Pokemon was finished with, I swear, every single time. So remembering that in it's the new psychic, games. Right? Could you beat Psychic Type? Uh, I don't. I'm not. I don't think we put her against psychic types. I don't, I don't believe so that. because uh, what is that chick's name? Sabrina. Yeah. Yeah. She was something serious. She was something to be serious. Yeah. With. So, I, I mean, that was the one trump card for Nitto Queen. But every other gym, Blaine, we took her against Blaine, <laughs> and this was before double type, so she was just poison in that game. Oh yeah. So she True. didn't really have an advantage over Blaine, but you know, just brute force using body slam and double kick and stuff like that. And we're just, the, his entire lineup, but just Nitto Queen. She suffered burns. She just fought through it. So I was like, Nitto Queen is a warrior. I'm putting her in my team as much as I can. <laughs> so For the now, record, Nitto King is still good, too. Uh, but not he's as not a good. Monster fan, but I like him. I think he's still the king. He doesn't yeah. hold up against her, even. But, uh, you know, we'll just have to do a battle and let them see it later on, I guess, with those two. But, guys, we really appreciate you watching this. And be yes. sure, especially, to let us know what your favorite memories are of Pokemon. In the comment section, right down Whoa. there. Be sure to smash that like button, hit the little bell icon, and the and subscribe, the and the share, and the embed, whatever you want to do <laughs> to help get 
this across to people because you know yeah do it do we it. hope that you were able to relate to this this is why we did it you know cause yeah i think it's a special time for really us is. especially this is you know the 20th anniversary of pokemon for when i started actually yes not when it first came out but when i really got into pokemon so when i really got into it i was in time. third grade so that's it's been a while i'm not gonna say how long but a right. while <laughs> all right guys be sure to take care and catch them all Charmander out. How's your talk? <laughs> there you go. Cut that crap. I can't read. Huh.